Several provinces are seeing a rise in illegal psychedelic dispensaries as a growing body of research examines potential health benefits. CTV's Vanessa Lee on the mushrooming storefronts and the fresh efforts to shut them down. Police raided this Montreal magic mushroom dispensary hours after it opened, arresting four people. It's too soon uh, to say, uh, to confirm who, who was in there. Magic mushrooms contain a chemical known as psilocybin, a hallucinogen some research suggests can treat a variety of mental health disorders, including depression. Pierre is trying it for the first time in decades in hopes it will help with neck and back pain. I'm looking for something. It's possible. Uh, it's better for me. Currently, the production, sale and possession of magic mushrooms are illegal in Canada. Health Canada says while clinical trials with psilocybin have shown promising results, there are no approved therapeutic products. Currently, we apply for patients that are really uh, in dire need and Health Canada gives approval. Magic mushroom shops have sprung up across the country despite potential consequences. Owners arguing it is safer than buying the drugs off the street. Observers say the defiance reminds them of those who opened cannabis stores before they were legalized. For me, it's obvious that psilocybin will be recreationally accessible legally. Doctors warn doing the drug on your own without a professional is considered high risk. If someone does something in an unsupported environment, you know, these substances are amplifiers of, of our, our psyche and so you know it could definitely cause harm fun guys vows not only to reopen this store it plans to add as many as five more locations in the province this summer vanessa lee ctv news montreal